Are civility and decency gone out of American politics? I think they are, and I'm going to tell you why. Just hours, mere hours, after 19 children and two teachers were slaughtered in Uvalde, Texas, which is not that far from me, the Representative Ruben Gallego from Arizona was hurling profanity at Senator Ted Cruz. Now here's what the Representative Gallego said on social media. F you, Ted Cruz. You care about a fetus, but you let our children get slaughtered. This is from an elected official to another elected official. And then he goes further on and says, this is Representative Gallego, just to be clear, F you, Ted Cruz, you effing baby killer. Now, why is Gallego saying this? Here's why. Ted Cruz had posted a, a tweet saying, uh, inevitably, when there's a murderer of this kind, you see politicians try to politicize it. You see Democrats and a lot of folks in the media whose immediate solution is to try to restrict the constitutional rights of law-abiding citizens. And that's what, what Cruz had, had stated, had tweeted, to which Gallego was responding, F you, Ted Cruz. But you know, Ted Cruz is absolutely right. I don't know if you caught the... Uh, evil minion of Satan on television last night, a.k.a. Joe Biden, uh, invoking the name of God, which makes me sick, he had an opportunity to provide comfort and solace to the families involved in this tragedy, but instead, what does he do? The first thing he does is divide and politicize and literally stand upon the dead bodies of Uvalde, Texas, making a political statement. So, yeah, I think Ted Cruz is right. Now, later, Gallego goes on. He doubles down on this. He's not done. You're going to see how, how uncivil American politics have gotten. A little bit later, uh, Gallego turned on uh, Representative uh, Daryl Issa, who's a Republican out of California, and all Issa had done, which a, a lot of people have done, politicians and otherwise, uh, Representative Issa had tweeted out, our thoughts and prayers are with these families. Now here's what Gallego said, F your prayers. That's right, F your prayers. What type of individual do you think on, on a social media platform for everybody to, to read and to see and to quote would, would, would sink so low to say, F your prayers? You know, I, I, do, I do think, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a special place in hell for people like uh, Representative Gallego. And um, uh, unfortunately, uh, you know, we can pray for him, but he's just going to say F your prayer. So I don't know if it's going to do any good or not. Now, listen, like I said, Uvalde is, is not far from me. I've been to Uvalde many, many times, and I'm kind of taking this a little bit personal um, just for that reason. I, I, it, I'm not disjointed from the people of Uvalde. I, I know what Uvalde looks like been there many times. So I'm, I'm taking this real seriously and, and it is just atrocious that we have an elected official saying, F you, F your prayers to another elected official on a social media platform and no one in his party or on the socialist left is coming out and saying, whoa, hang on here a second, Reuben, you're out of line. No, you're not hearing that. All you're hearing is, we got to take your guns.